Contact instruments are wonderful, but they do use a lot of memory. Here's how to cut down the memory they use. If you've been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm in the process of recording some of the old material from my days with the band Freeway. And in one of those videos, I talked about how I'd settled on using the Native Instruments Abbey Road 80s drummer as the drum kit that I was going to use for those recordings uh, using the drum parts that I'd previously programmed. Now, when you look at the Abbey Road drummers, any one of them, um, you'll notice that there's two versions. There's a full kit and a light kit. And the reason for this is that they have different numbers of samples. The light kit is a very cut down version of the full kit. It uses a lot fewer samples and therefore takes a lot less memory. But if you look at this, this keyboard here that you can see on screen, let's move it out of the way of me. You can see you've got samples loaded behind every one of those colored keys. But if we look at the part that they're actually playing, we can see that there's actually only seven voices that are playing. So we've loaded an awful lot of samples that we don't need in order to get the ones we do. However, in contact, there's a way of getting around this and only having the samples you need. So as you can see, the light kit occupies 239 megabytes of memory. But there's this little menu here which is purge. And if we purge all the samples, it completely unloads the samples. There are now no samples loaded in memory for this kit. But if we play the part, as the part plays through, you will see that it loads the samples back in, but only those samples that you need. Bear with me, I'll be back in a minute. So I've let the song run through, I've let it load up the samples it wants, and it's reduced our 239 megabytes down to a much more manageable 2.45 megabytes. Now, let's have a look and see what happens when we load the full kit. That's important because what you don't want to do is do any splitting of outputs at this stage. If you're going to split your outputs, you really need to make sure you've loaded the kit you're going to be using in the end, the full kit or the light kit. But I'll come back to that in a future video. So what we'll do now is we will watch it as it loads up the full kit and see how much more than 239 megabytes the full kit actually is. And our survey says it is a whopping great 0.7 gigabytes. So we'll do the same thing. I shall purge the memory. We will go back to the beginning and we'll play the song through again. And I'll be back with you in a minute. And there you go. We've gone from 0 0.7 gigabytes to 7.01 megabytes. A massive reduction in the number of samples we're using because we're using such a constrained number of voices from within the overall kit. Now, a word of warning. It does say in the manual, yes, I do read the manual on occasion. It does say in the manual, it's not necessarily suitable 
for instruments that use large numbers of round robins. Now, what you've just seen was the end of the second pass. At the end of the first pass, it had grown from 0 to 6.55 megabytes, not 7.01. When I did the second pass, particularly when it was getting to the fills on the snare, it was adding in more samples. So I suspect if you're going to do this with a full kit in the Abbey Road drummers, you're going to have to do several passes. But having said that, I've done this at a fairly early stage. So as I add more to the song, I'm going to be adding in any extra samples that are needed. If I save the project, it will save the sample settings as I now have them. So that 7.01 megabytes is locked in once I save the project. And of course, once you've done this with one contact instrument, you can do it with all of them. If you load a piano, you could be loading all 88 keys on the keyboard, but you might only be playing a couple of dozen. You will again reduce the sample pool and reduce the strain on your computer and the amount of memory that you're using. So all that really means is that you just have to play the song through a few times in order to pick up all the samples that you're going to need, which is not really a hardship at all. As always, I hope that's been useful. If it has, then please like and subscribe the video. And until next time, you take care of yourselves.